Hey everybody, Dwayne England, Potsky Pro Staff, and I'm actually here tonight in my own personal bait lab. Wanted to bring to you a short video, a how-to video, on how to take care of these humpy eggs and care them up for your fall fisheries. Now, we have a lot of humpies returning to the Puget Sound Rivers right now, about six and a half million. I would say that's a pretty good number. Um, once those fish enter the river, it's time to go harvest some humpies and get those eggs. And a lot of guys think you can't fish these humpy eggs because they're a little bit too soft. Um, on the other hand, I, uh, I have no problem fishing these eggs. I will cure them up and fish them all throughout my fall. And uh, as I start getting enough eggs for fall fishing, as in Coho and Chinook later on through November, um, I'll actually start curing some up for steelhead as well. They fish very well for steelhead and they fish very, very well for Chinook and Coho. So let's talk a little bit about how to take care of our humpy eggs and cure them up so they're gonna fish really well and uh, you're not gonna waste your time. First thing we have to do is, anytime we have eggs, we want to get the blood out of the skeins. Um, you can't, you can cure the egg, but you can't cure the blood. Okay, even if the blood has been through the curing process, oftentimes it will spoil. Now, you may not be able to smell it, but uh, the fish sure can. So we want to get that blood out of the skein, and it's real simple. I use a paper towel just to simply wick the blood out and. I'll turn that to where I can expose the vein and I take the flat side of my scissors just going to push that along the vein right there get it down to an end point I'll make a little snip and look I just use a paper towel and I'll uh, wick that blood right out of there so I'm pushing the blood along the vein and again I'll take the paper towel and really can just push that right into the paper towel absorbs that blood right out of the right out of the vein cleans up your egg skein really nice and uh, there you go so all the blood is out of the skein it's pretty much ready to cure now one thing about humpy eggs uh, if you look at the skein when you lay them flat they're pretty much uh, they're pretty much wide open um, compared to coho and chinook oftentimes maybe not on your looser big chinook skein because they they lay wide open pretty well but to really get the cure all in and around, like on a good coho skein, we oftentimes will butterfly it. You can look at some of our other videos, some of our other pro staffers on, on Potskis, and you'll see how guys butterfly their skein. Now with humpy eggs, they, uh, they're a softer egg, and they don't have the skin that goes all the way around the skein. So you don't really need to worry about butterflying them. You just clean them up, lay them flat, they're wide open. There's plenty of exposed egg to take the cure, and it's going to do just fine. So some things that I tend to do with my humpy eggs that I don't do with other uh, salmon eggs as in coho and chinook is I want to use a softer cure. In other words, I don't want to use a really strong sulfite based cure. It has a weak membrane or a, a much softer, weaker skin holding the skein together. Uh, if I put too much sulfite on here, it's going to deteriorate the skin. It's not going to cure the egg up really well and it won't fish well. Again, this is a softer egg, and I don't know about you, but I don't like putting eggs on when I'm float fishing bait and floats for Chinook or Coho in the fall, and every couple casts I have to put new eggs on. So I want to create an egg that's going to fish relatively well and give me three, four, five, six casts that I'm not constantly putting new bait on. So um, here we go. Sulfite based cure, our fire cure. Potsky's Fire Cure, this dark red, I use a lot of it for my fall eggs. I put a lot of this on my Chinook and Coho eggs and even Chum because again it's a much more durable egg and they can take a sulfite based cure. For humpy eggs I like to use our Baraxo Fire but I doctor it up just a little bit. Okay, I do want to have some sulfite in there. I do want to add a little extra sugar for salmon lower in the rivers that kind of have a sweet tooth out here in the Pacific Northwest. So I do a couple things. I'll take a brand new container of our Braxel Fire, and again I'm using the dark red because the dark red really works well here in the Northwest. Uh, to this I'm going to add a half cup of sugar, one heaping tablespoon of our Potsky's uh, Firepower Krill Powder because I really believe in the extra krill scent on your eggs makes a huge difference. And I'm also going to add one heaping tablespoon of sodium sulfite. Okay, again this is a pretty strong sulfide based cure. Our Baraxel Fire doesn't have any sulfite, so I want to add some to it just as a bite stimulant. Uh, so I'll add at least a heaping tablespoon to a full container of Baraxel Fire. 
Uh, okay, so a couple different ways I will go about curing my humpy eggs, and I have great result with it. They fish well, they milk out, and they produce a really nice bait that, that fish is good. Um, first of all, I do, I do a lot of my cure in gallon Ziploc baggies. It's pretty much mess free, disposable, don't have to worry about containers and those types of things. I always write on here what I put in. I, I shorthand it just so I can keep track. FB is fire brine, BF is Braxo fire number two, because what I mix in here, what I just explained what I mix in my Braxo fire, I, I just write that down as recipe number two. Um, and so we're gonna do a quick liquid brine that I have good success with. And it's nothing more than using our Potsky's fire brine. And I'll go with the red, okay? And I'm gonna put about four skeins in here. So we're just gonna dump in about a quarter to a third bottle. Now if I'm doing about six or eight skeins, I'm going to probably put in at least a half bottle of fire brine um, just to make sure I got enough liquid. Okay, so there's that. And for just uh, a couple four skeins, I'm going to put in probably mm, a little more than an eighth cup. If I'm doing four now we'll say six to eight skeins. If I'm doing six to eight skeins, I'm going to go with a full quarter cup of the pre-mixed Baraxel fire with the things I've added. If I'm doing two to four skeins, I'm going to go about an eighth cup, maybe a little more. So this is a wet brine mixture with the Baraxel fire and the fire brine together in the bag. Now the uh, the eggs are blood free. They're ready to go. Again, this is a a liquid brine, put those in. These I cleaned up earlier, and uh, we're gonna put five skeins in there. That'll do. Seal that shut. Gonna roll this around nice and easy. Got that Braxel fire in there we wanna mix up. Now I'm gonna leave these in this bag for about three to four hours okay and I'll, I'll uh, tumble them around lightly every so often just to make sure I'm mixing up that Braxel fire with the liquid and uh, those will soak for a good three four hours I take them out put them on paper towels in the container put them in the fridge they're ready to fish by the next morning so it's not an overnight soak three to four hours and you're gonna produce a really nice egg now the other thing we can do if I don't want to do a liquid brine and I have more time. This is a fast cure. This again will be done three, four hours, put them in the fridge. I can literally fish these eggs tomorrow morning. The standard sprinkle on cure uh, with these humpy eggs, and again, because they're so wide open, I do not need to uh, I do not need to butterfly them. The other way I can apply this is I can simply take my pre-mixed Baraxel fire and I'm just going to sprinkle this on the egg side of these eggs okay and it's just this simple I'm gonna pick these up with the paper towel and everything goes right into the bag just like that lay the paper towels back down get these other two skeins on here nice and open blood free I'm gonna sprinkle some of this on here just a nice amount, not overdoing it. I'm not gonna worry about getting it on the back side. Uh, I put enough on the top egg side. Dump those in, seal that up. Now this one here is a little more of a hands-on approach. I have, <coughs> excuse me, I have to tumble these around to make sure that I'm, that I'm mixing up that cure and uh, it begins to get the eggs to juice out. Once they start producing that juice, I'll know that the cure is working. It's getting inside the eggs. It's uh, pulling that, pulling that moisture out of the eggs, creating that liquid. First two or three hours, I'm going to allow these to juice up. I'm going to let them sit for a while, about 15 minutes or so. I'm going to come back out here. I'm going to tumble them around, nice and easy. I'm not shaking the heck out of them. They're fragile. We got to make sure we're taking care of them. We're toughening them up to make them a good bait. I don't need to really shake the heck out of them. You can already see how much color change I have. Uh, with those eggs just by getting that cure on there and stirring it up a little bit. So this will take about two, three hours. Again, every 15 minutes or so, I'm gonna tumble those around. I'll get a whole lot of juice in there. And once that juice is in there, 
um, and it's been two or three hours. And these are bathing in juice. I'm going to pop the seal on the bag. I'm going to make that uh, egg burrito, so to speak. We're going to roll all the air out of the bag, just like this, okay? And I like to roll this back down because remember now, I'll have a lot of juice in here and I don't want it spilling out. So I'll set this down like that with all the juice around there and I'm going to leave that at room temperature. We're getting into the fall part now of the season. It's not extremely warm out here in Washington. So I can let that sit here in my bait lab uh, overnight. I'll actually let it sit here for upwards of 20, 24 hours. And what happens is those eggs juice out and after two or three hours, and I roll that bag back down on there to kind of suck it all around there nice and tight. I have the eggs completely surrounded by juice. And over the next 20 hours or so, those eggs will draw that juice back in. It makes a nice plump egg. Don't panic when you see all the juice coming out of your eggs. A lot of times guys will take their eggs, they'll drain that juice off. Big mistake. That juice is suspending all the cure. That cure and that juice needs to get back inside the egg. It's going to plump your egg up. The eggs are going to seal up. They're going to toughen up and you're gonna have all that juice inside your eggs. And when you cut a piece off and you're fishing it, those eggs burst, send the juice and those uh, bite stimulants, that milk downriver, and the, the salmon respond to that scent that they're seeking. And if you dump all that juice out, you're gonna end up with flat eggs that do not fish well. So keep the juice in there, roll the bag up, let them absorb, reabsorb overnight into the next day. And then these eggs are ready to go into the fridge for a day or two. Uh, or you can actually roll the uh, roll the egg roll up and stick it in your freezer for a couple days. <clears throat> excuse me, and uh, simply vacuum pack it after that. So that's basically how you apply your cure. That's an option to use on these humpies egg, hump, humpy eggs out here in the Northwest. Uh, for me, it does a really nice job. I will fish these all fall long. Uh, if I get to a point where I have enough eggs for salmon, and I'm going to start curing eggs up for steelhead. I'm just going to use straight old Baraxa fire right out of the bottle, okay? Same exact process. Get the blood out, lay them flat, sprinkle on your Baraxa fire, tumble them around in your bag. They're going to juice up, let them reabsorb. Now there's no sulfites in there, there's no extra krill, there's no sugar. Uh, the Baraxa fire works great, makes a really nice steelhead egg. Baraxa fire, as does our fire cure, comes in the four colors uh, orange and natural for humpy eggs for winter on steelhead works fantastic so give that a try anyway that's about all i got i'm going to take care of these eggs in the liquid brine i'm going to take care of these eggs over the next several hours and by tomorrow i'll have a couple different types of uh, humpy eggs here that i can fish this weekend for uh, fall coho and chinook hope this helps you out again Dwayne england potsky pro staff thanks for watching